Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So this is going to be the second update of the Desert Roses, and I'm so proud of them. They have done so well. Look at this. It's incredible. They are now on their second set of leaves. Uh, some of them are still catching up, unfortunately. Some are still small and on their first sets of leaves, but that's because they're just late bloomers. They just germinate a little slower than the others. Um, something to note. I think I can actually determine what the flower color is going to be determined on the trunk um, at its current state. As you can tell, some of them are green, and some of them actually have this red hue, like this one. Some are red, and some are dark green. I'm thinking the ones that are dark green are going to be maybe a white color, while the ones that are red, maybe a pink to a purple, something around there, maybe a red. I'm thinking that's what's going to happen. Because I know sometimes you can do that with baby roses. I'm not sure if you can do it with desert roses. But... I guess, uh, guess we'll find out. So I heard that the earliest they can start blooming is typically around three months. That's if you repot them and you give them lots of fertilizer. If not, it usually takes about a year or longer sometimes. But some have gotten really tall. As you can see here, they look very strange. Something I'm not very used to. Chunks look really thick. Some have gotten tall like this one in the back over here. And then some have just stayed kind of small. They're definitely gonna be in need of a repotting soon but I'm not gonna do that until I read until they have about six leaves. So right now they have four, I have to wait till they have six. So I will do that later, not right now. I just keep them over on the windowsill over in, in here because it's starting to get cold outside. I don't want them to uh, basically freeze to death out there. So I put them in the windowsill, it gets plenty of light. And they seem to like that. They like lots of water. It seems like they, they do pretty well with that. I just, I just soak them and then they seem to react pretty well with that. They grow much faster. So lots of water is good, but you don't want to, of course, you don't want to uh, drown them, otherwise the roots will start to rot and you'll lose them all, but they seem to be very good. Very glossy leaves. Very cute. This was a variety pack from Thailand. I don't know what that means. I saw some pictures of what the flowers were going to look like, but are they going to look like that? I, I'm guessing no. There are some really unique ones in there, but I'm just going to have to wait till they flower, I guess. I'm waiting for the seeds to come. I got some more since these did so well. I also got some uh, rainbow eucalyptus. Um, eucalyptus uh, duglopta, duglopta, something like that. I forgot what the name was, but it's rainbow eucalyptus. I ordered some of those seeds too. So I will germinate those as soon as they arrive. Should be either Monday or Tuesday, whatever. We'll see. Hopefully I get my desert rose seeds too. Hopefully they made it through customs. They do have sites, so hoping. Keep my fingers crossed. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for now. I thank you so much, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my new Facebook page. I'll be posting updates there, so please make sure to go check that out. I'll be uh, putting up pictures, and you guys can message me and put up your own posts of whatever you got. I'd love to see that. So thank you very much, guys. It means a lot to me. You guys are amazing. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, happy growing.